Hey everyone, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at collaboration and co-authoring in an Excel workbook. We're going to look at this using Excel 365, using the Office 365 package. But before we get stuck into that video, don't forget to press that subscribe button and hit that little notification button so you don't miss out on any more videos. Now, also, before we get stuck into this video, there is a link below the video that will bring you to a blog post that relates to this video. And in that blog post, you're going to find a learn and earn activity. That's right. The Exile Club runs a learn and earn activity that you can take part in free of charge and earn yourself some tokens. So let's get stuck into this video and let's start looking at collaboration and co-authoring in Excel. Over the years, with the rise of cloud computing, sharing and collaboration in Excel has got so much easier. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can share and how collaboration looks now in Excel when you're sharing a workbook. First of all, to be able to share or collaborate in your workbook, you need to save your file to OneDrive or a SharePoint server. So I have this file here working together set up as a sample file. And we just have a little bit of sample data in it, month product one, product two, and some numbers. There's no formatting or anything. And I have saved this to my OneDrive folder. And a OneDrive folder is in the cloud. So because it's in the cloud, other people can collaborate with you. So we can then click on the share, which is found in the upper right. And once you click on the share, a new pane will open here that will allow you to invite people. Now, when you invite people, these are people that are going to be in the same organization or the same school as you, so you can easily tag them. Or it will be somebody that is in your address book. You can access your address book too. Now, if somebody isn't in your organization and if somebody isn't on OneDrive or doesn't have Office 365, you can still share and collaborate with them. Down the bottom of the share pane is get a share link. And if you click get a share link, this will bring up your option to get an edit link or create a view only link. So I have created an edit link and I'm going to copy that edit link. Now all you need to do is send that link to the person that you want to collaborate with. Now I've just pasted that link into an incognito window. So you can see what happens on the recipient side. First of all, they have to agree to use the cookie. So by continuing, they agree. But the file appears read only. Now to edit the file, for this person to actually edit the file, they need to click edit in browser. And once they click edit in browser, they will be able to edit the actual document. Now it shows up here that Paula Guilfoyle is also editing. I am logged in on both the incognito and uh, True Excel as Paula Guilfoyle. So you'll see my name on both sides, but you can see here that somebody else is in the file. If we just line the two files up beside each other like this as well, so you can see what actually happens. And I've closed the sharing. Now what we can see is there is two active cells in both workbooks. Let's click into our original workbook and we see when we move our cell that the cell is moving, the active cell is moving in both screens. We can see that in the sharing window in the the person that's collaborating is purple. So when you're the other person's cell is purple. So we can see here that I'm over in this cell and there's a guest in this cell. You can also see up here, this G says that there's a guest and what cell the guest is on. So let's come over here and as a guest, let's just put in a value. And you see when we start typing over in the window over here that this cell goes purple to let you know that somebody is actually doing something. So when people are collaborating, it's easy to see that people are collaborating. And the workbooks then just update for each other and you can see what's going on. 